Hello everybody, Pause Life Gaming here, and welcome back to Undertale. Yes, the good old game that started the fame of my channel. And by fame, I mean getting you guys to actually like my commentary, which I love. No, 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 I don't want to watch that again. <laughs> so we're going to play some good old Undertale. This is part 11. I know I haven't played it in a while. Actually, I just played it a while ago. I did a part 10, and I tried to defeat Metaton, which... You all saw me fail horribly, so I got past Metaton for you guys peacefully. I didn't even touch him. So don't worry, this pacifist run will suffice. So I ran up here for you guys, and I have yet to do anything else in the pacifist run. I hope it's good ending because you know it's pacifist. I don't want to fight Asgore, and I don't want him to die like he did in my regular run. And this place is so gray, dull, and boring, but the music, I freaking love the music. And think about Undertale, I try my best not to swear, because swearing in Undertale, they don't mix. It's a golden flower, yes, thank you. But you know, a game such as subtle as Undertale, so calming and smoothing, shouldn't have someone loud, raging, and swearing at it. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. And uh, speaking of tea, guess who's drinking tea right now? That's right, I'm drinking some calming tea. Seems like gardening tools. <laughs> I think those are the fire pit tools. The coals are still warm. There's, this is a great raiding chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Aw. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, they're not gonna fight me. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human crawled out, called out for help. Oh, right in the fields, man. Let's get this key. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. <laughs> That's story. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. <laughs> the stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Makes sense. There's a tra it's a trash can. Let's fill the crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I'm trying to get the perfect recipe. Oh. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Aw, so sweet. Wait, Asriel, the king has a son? Bruh. Completely forgot about that. I'll probably read up on this. Oh, present. Oh, but are they my presents? Yeah, let's open it. Oh, I feel just like a dick from it. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? I feel like it's gonna be good armor and I'm probably gonna need it. You're carrying too much. Oh, crap. Um, eat the unicycle. You eat the unicycle, you're not. Oh, you not. Heart-shaped locket inside the box. Yes. This? There's a war- No! No, no, no! <laughs> Will you take it? Oh, no, 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 I don't want the dagger. Stop urging me. Peer pressure. I don't, I don't need the peer pressure. Um, no, not that. Uh, items. Heart. Lock it. And then, uh, item. Drop. Watch that band probably has some sort of use and someone's gonna be yelling at me later in comments. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Toby Fox did an amazing job on this story and this music. I love it. I know I'm a little bit late for Undertale, but you know, there's nothing too late for any game. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say, it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king-size bed. It's a baru, or bur- buru? Bur- beret. <laughs> There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Aww. He's like Santa. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> it's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzler champ. 98. 1998. 2098. 3798. 
<laughs> I don't know. This could be any age for all we know. Alright, we got the keys. You unlock the chain. Oh, wait. There's an old calendar from the end of 2012. There's, there's an old calendar from the end of 2017. A date is circled on it. Yeah, it was the date for New Year's, so we could all kiss it goodbye. <gasps> Ooh, mute flute! Oh, 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 I almost swore there. Then one day, the human became very ill. Aww. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Aww. Asriel racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the valley of barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. This is depressing now. <laughs> Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. What is it with human? What is it when people come to assumptions right away? The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. Oh god. <laughs> Just you're all attacking me and you're blown up. But. Azrael did not fight that way. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Not really. I'm more sad and in despair right now. You're going to be free. Aww. No, I don't think dying is freedom, little froggy. Oh boy, this is the Hall of Judgment. What does Sans have to say to me now? I didn't mean to save twice, but hey, who cares? Or oh, last time. I've never had to fight Sans, which is good, and I'm pretty sure I don't really want to fight Sans. <sighs> Someone having a wedding? <laughs> so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. 
It stands for execution points, a way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the more easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will, will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking? You've already heard this, my spiel, haven't you? I, su I suspected something like this. You've always acted like... Like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. So, I have a request for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells me tells it to me, they have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. The only other time I talked to him was in my neutral run in Time Traveler. Does that mean I have to exit the game, come back, exit the game, come back, ex and just like, keep... You know, I'm gonna try that guys, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, we're back, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna see if we can, if we can convince him that I'm a Time Traveler. We're going to skip through it, mostly, until around the end. I'm just going to skip through and see what he's got. Did you just say, I'm a stupid doo-doo butt? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that only complete infantile, but it's also my secret code word. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is the secret SECRET code word. It's only for people who know that the- who know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Whisper, whisper, whisper. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Oh my god, let's do it again. And we're back. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to Sa Oh, crap, I just hit my microphone. <laughs> sorry, guys, if you uh, really messed up audio and you hear like a big thud. <laughs> that, that was me, I'm sorry. So you finally made it. Huh. Do you have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you... Just say, I'm the legendary fart master? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That's, um... Really childish. Why would you think that was a secret code? 
Why would you think that was a secret, secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. I don't have a secret, secret code word. Oh my god, Sans. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret. Oh my god. What you just said. So, I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. What? Um, okay, so, you know what, let's go to this. I don't even, I don't want to waste time. I'll just cut it out, the traveling, for you guys. Come again sometime, tra-la-la. Alright, let's go to Sane. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hey, Undyne's here. Yeah, no. Hey, you punk. What's up? That's you! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So, why don't we just stand and grill these instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. <laughs> Oh my god, Santa's room, I forgot that it had fire underneath it. You unlock the door and enter. How long is this room? Jesus Christ. Whoa. 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 That doesn't sound, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it one beat. Oh god. I'm on a trip. Hey, Sans, have you seen my- Oh, hello. You aren't Sans. Wait a second. Why are you using the treadmill? In the dark. The Sans pranking you across time and space. I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait. I know where to look. In my collection. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a genius. All the time. I was on a treadmill. Oh my god. What the heck? It appears to be a self-sustained tornado made of trash. It's Sans' dirty sock pile. S scandalous. Inside the drawer is a silver key. You put it on your keychain. Is that the true lab? It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. It's an uncovered pillow. It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, creasy ball. Sans is weird. You look at Sans's room, what it's like, and then you go in and you look at Pyrus's room and it's all that. Wait, I went behind the house and I just remember it said it's locked, so... Can I... Um... Oh my god! Is this the true lab? Oh damn, I think it is. Oh damn. There's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with lots of people you don't recognize. He looks happy. You look in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. Blueprints. You can't read the symbols that are written in. Or maybe it's just the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Oh, this music. My ears. Blueprint. Oh, okay. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. Okay. Um, not the least bit confused. Huh. I feel like I should do a run through of this game sometime, just trying to find the secrets like this. Uh, yes, I would like a rad. Maybe we talk to Elfies now about the machine, because I know that she's a scientist. 
Tra la la, you can never have too many hot dogs. <laughs> Sadly, that's not true. Thank you, come again sometime, blah 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 blah. Thank you. There's no response. Okay, so I just kind of texted uh, one of my Undertale friends to see if they knew anything about the room, and they just told me that it's Sans's workshop and it can change the more you play the game. Alright. That's all I need to know. Let's go fight S. <laughs> Ooh, a sign. Throne room. What's this? Okay, let's continue. Is there anything, uh, safe? Ooh, there is stuff this way. I think I remember coming this way once. Stairs. More, more stairs. Oh! It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Ash. Oh my god. It's empty. <laughs> Wanna die? Why is my name on that? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, bird birds is <laughs> dum dee dum. <laughs> Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do when you are ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. It's not a throne, covered by a white sheet. Oh. I really don't want to fight him. Which I know he's a pain to fight, but I mean... I know it says past this and I, I really hope he doesn't die in the end of this one because Flowey said do not kill anyone, blah blah blah, if you want to see Asgore live. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. <laughs> sure, where the dentist is trying to stab me. So many save points. Are you ready? If you're not. I understand. I'm not ready either. Alright, let's get my controls all ready. Holy! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it then. Ready?
strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Wah! I need that button. Asgore attacks. Holy crap. Talk. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for him. Ah, crap. Talk. I don't need him to kill you. Talk. Heal now. Pops the fucking shit, I guess. You eat the unit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, this is such a weird battle. Come on. Asgore attack drop, Asgore attack. Keep talking to him. Keep talking, he won't do any more good. Oh! Let's just check. 80 to 80 defense. I think it was 100 before, so I may have. I mean, I may, I may have. Oh boy. Let's eat the quote unquote popsicle. I got through that without getting that hit. I've been playing this for over half an hour. Sweet. It shows just my love for Undertale. I absolutely miss it. I love this game. You drink the stuff. Frag! <laughs> Alright, well, I've been recording for 40 minutes. I think I'm going to finish this for now. We will come back to this tomorrow. I will finish it tomorrow as fast as I can. I'll figure it out. So, remember to take a break, pause your life, play a game. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye